What does a consulting recruiter interview look like and how can you pass it? Let's find out in this video. I believe the first thing that you need to understand is why do consulting firms use recruiter interviews? Not just consulting firms, right? But almost in every job, you need to go through this stage. So the main reason why consulting firms have recruiter or HR conducted interviews is to make sure candidates meet the minimum requirements before moving on to interviews with consultants and partners. The areas they are likely to review include your understanding of consulting and the role, your fit within the firm's culture, your overall background and qualifications for the role, your motivations and long-term goals, your ability to communicate effectively and professionally. Consultants often work long hours, especially when they're deep into client projects. To avoid pulling them away from important work, recruiters focus on assessing key topics early in the recruiting process. Typically, consultants are traveling to client sites from Monday to Thursday, which makes their availability limited during the week. That's where the recruiter steps in to keep the process moving, ensuring everything stays on track. It's important to remember that the recruiter plays a crucial role in determining whether you move on to the next round. If they feel you're not a good fit for the firm, it could be the end of the road for your application. So don't view this initial step as a, just a formality. It's a crucial part of the selection process that can make or break your chances of moving forward. You'll find it slightly more informal than those with consultants, but it's still important to take it seriously and be well prepared. The questions they ask will primarily focus on your background and motivations, but they might also include some competency-based ones. So as I said, do not come unprepared. You're probably wondering what are the questions that they typically ask? Well, I'll tell you, and I'll give you some tips too on how to answer them. First off, why are you interested in consulting? When you respond, make sure to show the interviewer that you genuinely understand what a consultant does. If you've had conversations with people in the industry who've given you insights into the behind the scenes work, mention that. Talk about what excites you about consulting and how your background connects to the role. This will really help you stand out from all of those who are just applying as a backup option or haven't put much thought into why they want the job. Most candidates will give the same rehearsed answers that recruiters hear over and over. So this is your chance to make a real impression by showing you've done your homework and know why consulting is the right fit for you. As a former BCG recruiter, these are my tips on how to answer this question. Avoid saying money is your main motivation. Don't settle for a general definition of consulting from Google. Dig deeper. Steer clear of discussing exit opportunities. While consulting can lead to other careers, it's too soon to focus on what comes after. Next question, why are you interested in this firm? So for example, why are you interested in McKinsey? While there are other amazing firms out there, why McKinsey? So this is another question that you might risk giving a response that the recruiter has heard a hundred times before. To make a strong impression, show that you've really thought about this, why this firm stands out to you and how your reasons are unique and personal. This is a great chance to dive into the firm's values. These values often set them apart from other consulting firms. So explain why they resonate with you and share personal examples that illustrate this connection. You might also touch on the types of projects the firm works on. Different firms and even different offices within the same firm can have distinct focuses. For example, Bain's local staffing model means you'll likely work on cases in industries that are prominent in the area. If you're interviewing with Bain's New York City office, mention your interest in finance. This can show that you've done your homework and are a good fit for their local focus. Lastly, take the time to read articles on the firm's website and in other publications. This shows that you've gone beyond just their homepage. Talk about why these projects interest you personally. Demonstrate that you're genuinely engaged and have put thought into why you want to work with them. Okay, pro tip time. Avoid giving an answer that could apply to any consulting firm. Don't rely solely on their homepage or about page for your information. Make sure to explore their website more thoroughly, especially in the career section, to gather as much relevant detail as possible. The next question is, walk me through your background. You might have heard this question as, tell me about yourself or walk me through your CV. And it's one of the most common and often feared questions in interviews <laughs> across all industries. I mean, that's completely valid to feel scared. As this question seems really broad and you might be thinking, this person already has a copy of my resume. What else do they wanna know? Well, what the interviewer really wants to hear is your background from you, your 
yourself and how it relates to the role you're applying for. This is a chance for you to show why your experience is a great fit. So make sure your answer is clear, structured, and engaging. A good approach is to frame your response around the past, present, and future. Instead of detailing every step of your history, highlight a few key achievements and skills that match the consultant role. Make it clear how your background aligns with the role and wrap up by briefly connecting this to your interest in consulting, especially if you've already covered why consulting earlier. And here are a few of my tips from when you answer this question. Avoid sharing your entire life story. Don't go through every single point on your CV. Skip discussing any negative experiences such as leaving a company due to unhappiness or conflict with a manager. Another question that you may get asked is describe a challenging situation you faced. Like from what I mentioned earlier, you might get a range of behavioral questions to gauge your fit and abilities for the role. That's why it's handy to have a few stories ready that you can adjust based on what you're asked. For those questions, use an example of a challenge you faced and overcame. Highlight what you learned from the experience and make sure your response is relevant to the role. It doesn't have to come from a consulting or business setting, just something that demonstrates the skills and qualities consulting firms value. The A star E method can help structure your answer. Start by outlining the situation, then describe the challenge or tension. Explain the actions you took and detail the result. Finally, discuss the effect it had on you and what you learned from it. We have a video about behavioral interviews, so I'll add that link in the description. Okay, so Bruce, what are your tips to answer this kind of question? Well, first, make sure to highlight your achievements and relevant skills. Avoid criticizing others to showcase your strengths. Keep the focus positive. Don't hesitate to use non-work-related stories if it better addresses the question. Before we wrap up this video, I would like to leave you with some important additional tips before you go into your recruiter interview. Do your research on the firms you are interviewing for. You should prepare your responses and they should be communicated in a clear clear and concise manner. Remember, you're applying to be a consultant and consultants are all about thinking and communicating with structure and focus. So if you can demonstrate that in your responses, it's a great way to show that you're a good fit for the role. There you have it, everything that you need to know about the consulting recruiter interview. I'd love to know which firm or firms are you applying to or interviewing with? You may be asked these questions, so we would love to help you. If you comment below the specific consulting firm that you're applying to, I'll share resources on how to land interviews. So for example, if you put Deloitte, I'll send you some resources for landing a consulting offer at Deloitte. My team and I are former consulting recruiters and interviewers who help applicants get and pass the interviews so they can land their consulting offer. To date, nine out of 10 applicants who work with us land at least one offer and we've helped over 800 people already land a consulting job. If you are serious about becoming a management consultant and want to hear how we can help you, click on the link below to book a call with my team to find out more. Booking this call could put you one step closer to landing your offer at McKinsey, Bain, BCG, or other management consulting firms. But you don't have to take my word for it, hear it from Lindsay. Lindsay got into Deloitte despite struggling with case interviews and consulting interviews like the ones I discussed in this video. I'll share her videos somewhere beside me. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.